What's going on? Sorry, I know you probably wanted some rest after taking out that Colossus. Anyway, like I said over comms, we've discovered Ironheart traces in Vespers. I had business to attend to with the Order of Truth, so I was hunting down some Vulgus there. Suddenly, the guide appeared, claiming she felt the pulse of an Ironheart in the area, and then simultaneously in multiple areas. According to the guide, these multiple signals weren't byproducts of the Ironheart, like Alzarok was. Comparing it with the data we have now, there really seems to be a difference. Now, well, it's obvious, isn't it? We have no other choice but to check every single location she's detected. When I came back to HQ to report on my operation, they told me to take reinforcements. And I chose you. Jeremy makes me very uncomfortable. But I have no trouble trusting you. So, you in? I'll take your silence as consent. I knew you'd accept, even if you didn't actually say it. We'll head to the Vespers outpost once you're ready. It'll give Dr. Glay time to join us. You're here. I thought you'd be late. We've got a few things to do. We need to hurry. What seems to be the problem? We've received operation details. The Ironheart Pulse has supposedly been detected in this area. But it's impossible to triangulate, since it's dispersed in several directions. That's correct, Clay. I can feel it clearly, but it's hard for me to pinpoint its exact position. However, I can confirm it is in this zone. <sighs> we were deployed here to find one thing, and now we also have to find the Ironheart. We'll have to look under every rock in Vespers. Freyna and I were sent here to look for a group of Volgas who have stolen RK serum from Jaber and some other descendants. Freyna, Sharon, even I've already had my RK serum stolen by them once. Things will only get worse if we let them take any more of it. Those bastards. They satisfy their own desires by taking everything we humans have. They have to be stopped. If the Ironheart is underground, then it makes sense that we're detecting the pulse in multiple locations. Not only is 55% of the surface of Vespers composed of slick inside, but this zone has a high distribution of strange-looking rocks. It's also one of the few zones where there are Ancestors' ruins on the surface, and most of the Ancestors' ruins are built out of slick inside. That's why it's difficult to pinpoint the exact point of origin of the pulses. The characteristics of slick inside make it easier for pulses to pass through it. Which means, there's a higher probability of pulses being detected simultaneously from multiple directions. When I analyze the strata, there are spaces that feel empty to me. They are most likely where the Ancestors' ruins can be found. All entrances to these spaces emit pulses of similar intensity. However, you will need to confirm in person whether these places are the correct paths to lead us to the Iron Heart. In that case, we'll need to check all the places detected by the guide. There's no way the Vulgus didn't prepare for this. All right, let's spread out and find the entrance that leads underground. That'll split the enemy's attention, so it's a good tactical approach as well. Freyna, I understand there are specialized drones that Albion has created to find the Ironheart. That's correct. Enzo's sending the drones here shortly. That is excellent news. Let's begin our search for the Iron Heart in earnest. This is 
is Enzo. I have set coordinates for the scan drone. However, Volga's forces have been spotted in the area. If the drone is damaged, it may make this operation more difficult. We need you to eliminate all enemies within the operation zone. Ones may not pose much of a challenge, but another force is inbound. Prepare yourself. Danger assessment. Normal. Defeating the Falkers will force the enemy to retreat. Enemy forces within the operation zone have been eliminated. Great job. 